Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create two really super cute eclipse cards for Easter. Now this piece of cardstock right here that I have is three and a half by four and three quarters inches long and I already placed my sticky grid on the back and I'm going to place this down in the corner. And the stamp set that I'm going to be using today is by Hero Arts and it's super cute bunny. It's called the Color Layering Bunny. And this is what it looks like. And in order to do any kind of layering stamps, I suggest you definitely are going to need some kind of a stamping platform so you can line everything up and get everything to come out beautifully. So I'm gonna be using the bunny and this has got an outline portion, and then you're gonna have the fur, and then the little nose and the inside of the ear for this. So it's not a super detailed like stamp that's got like multiple, multiple parts. It's only three steps. So this one's a little bit easier to use if you're a beginner. Now I'm gonna do this one a little bit backwards. Um, I'm gonna use the fur part first. And one tip, make sure that you condition your stamps. You can run your fingers over top of these. If they're brand new stamps, just make sure they're really well conditioned so your ink picks up really well. Or you can take a small piece of leather and just go over and rub them as well. So when it kind of turns a little bit white, you know that it's conditioned. So I'm just gonna pop him right there and I'm gonna pick him up. Just for a little added security so nothing moves or shifts, I'm going to lay that magnet right there. I'll probably put another little magnet right here as well just a little added security since we're working with layering stamps so nothing shifts or moves. I'm gonna be using the Gina K Designs dye ink in the color Warm Cocoa to ink up my bunny. I'm just gonna go over him one more time to make sure I have a really well impression. And now I'm gonna be using the lined portion of the stamp and we're going to be trying to line up these edges of the rabbit with the very outer portion of the stamped image we've already stamped. And sometimes this can be a little tricky so you really want to get right over top of this to make sure you get it correct. And now we're just going to pick him up. I really kind of want to make sure that I'm getting this right. So I've got a piece of just acetate here and I'm going to stick it down in the very corner over top of this. This way I'll be able to tell if I got it lined up correctly. And you can see it's off on the top. The bottom looks pretty perfect, but that top portion needs to come over a little bit. So this is just a, um, oh, what's it called? One of those chamois, little stamp chamois that you can get. Like I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I just wipe this off and I'm gonna reposition my stamp. And remember, I still have the acetate over top of this. We're going to pick it up again and try again. And that's actually close enough that I'm going to be happy with that. So I'm going to keep it just like this. So I am going to clean off my acetate sheet. gonna move that to the side and 
And the acetate sheet is a really good way to just make sure everything's getting lined up and you can wipe it off easy. I just really prefer doing it that way. Okay. I'm gonna ink him up again. And I clean off all of my stamps with this stamp chamois to keep them all nice and clean. And this was the one thing when I was a beginner stamper that I didn't know about. I was trying to use the stamp cleaning pads and like the sprays and there's just water on this is all I'm cleaning it off with but I was trying to use all these things and lint was ending up on my stamps and it was so frustrating and I just got tired with it and I quit stamping as much because I just I couldn't get it to have that really great print but if you're using a stamping platform and you get a stamp chamois to clean off your stamps that's not going to leave lint behind and ruin like your impressions when you're trying to stamp, you're going to have so much greater success with your stamping. Now I've got the last little portion is the nose and the ear. And we're going to pick it up. bring back in my acetate and I'm gonna go in with a Gina K designs called bubblegum pink it's a very very light color and it's not wanting to show up very well on the acetate but when i'm pressing it down it looks like it's lined up pretty well so i'm going to just go ahead with that i'm going to take my acetate off of here and we're just going to go ahead and stamp it down Now, how absolutely cute is that? I absolutely love layering stamps, but this little bunny is like the cutest little bunny for Easter. I love him. So I like to share a lot of different tips and things in my videos as I go along. And one is with, when I got my Misty, it comes with this. It's a, like a pad of grid paper. So, if you want, they do have like a pre like laminated thing that you can buy extra to stick in to your Misty. But I just took a sheet of this paper and I put dollar from the Dollar Tree, the clear contact paper. I just kind of went over a piece of this and just stuck that clear contact paper over one sheet. And then I have that one sheet sticky grid on the back and it's stuck to the foam. And that's how I use mine. So if this ends up getting messy or like too messy or anything, I can just take another sheet of this, cover it with the clear contact paper, slap it on here and I'm good to go. So I just wanted to share that with you just because that is what you get when you like, if you order a Misty, if you get a Misty, that's how it comes with just the stray pieces of uh, grid paper. So now I'm going to take my little bunny. We're going to pull him up and I have a sticky grid on the back. I'm going to stick that back on there. So I'm going to line him up in the center here just so that he's in sort of in the middle and not stuck right down in the corner because what I'm going to do is I am going to actually ink on this and then I wipe it back up is what I was telling you the contact paper secret for because you're going to be like why is she blending on that I use this for everything even inking. So we're going to take the Gina K Designs color sea glass. 
and we're just gonna blend this around the edge. So this is gonna be really pretty. And by the way, this is the Yo Sing brush, um, little finger daubers that I'm using. Now I'm gonna come in with the color Apple Mint and just gently do around the bottom edge of the card. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Gina K Designs Blue Raspberry. And now I'm gonna be using the Happy Easter stamp from the Things Talk stamp set from Tim Holtz collection. And then I'm going to put it right up here in the corner. And just to make sure I get that lined up, I'm just gonna slide this down Make sure it doesn't stick to it. Okay, and there it's lined up. And this is one of the pieces from an extra set that you can buy for the Misty. So it's just Misty tools. I pick that up. And I'm gonna ink that up with the obsidian Amalgam ink. We're going to pull up our card layer. I'm going to clean this off. For the eclipse portion of the card making. So next you're going to need a die. And you could even use alphabet dies. Whatever you have. So what you're gonna do is just find where you wanna cut this. And I'm going to have mine positioned right here. So it's within the edges of the card and just right on top. I think that's where I want it. So I'm gonna be using some low tack tape and you can use whatever you prefer. You want to use something that's going to be easy on your card and not rip it. So this is just low tech tape um, that came from Crafters Companion. I love using that tape. So we got it all held in place and I'm going to go run this through my Gemini die cutting machine. Now the one thing you're going to want to keep these little bits right here. Gently remove the hello from the card layer. Just be very careful not to rip it. And go ahead and just lay your hello to the side if it falls out. So I'm just gently going to place all these little bits and pieces down here on my Misty so that they'll be laying down here because I need my Gemini plates back for the next process. So next you're gonna need your Hello and you're just gonna need some regular, this is Fun Foam. Um, now if you want to, you can cut this Hello out of like cardstock three times and layer it if you want to. But an easier way and suggestion is to just use some good old fun foam. It's inexpensive and you don't have to waste any of your card stock for this. And you're just going to cut it to size and you're gonna run this through your die cut machine. Now we have our hello 
out of the fun foam and fun foam literally cuts like butter. I'm just gonna pop it out and all we need is the hello portion. We don't need any of these little, the little bits inside. So just pop those out and that's what we got. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. And I have this green pearlescent cardstock and I'm going to quickly ink around this in the color Lucky Clover. And all this does is just add a little highlight to the edge of the cardstock. Now the size of this cardstock is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Now you're just going to glue this down to your card layer. Use any type of adhesive that you like. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna inlay that fun foam that we cut. And we're just gonna lay it to the inside of this. Just line it up. And this is gonna be the easiest if you have one of those clicker pens, or I mean pencils, because you can make the lead in it longer. So it fits down in here perfectly to trace where you need to inlay those little pieces up here. We're just gonna trace around the insides so that we know where to put those pieces. And that's how we know where to glue our pieces down. And the reason why we do this is because the fun foam is so thick and some of these pieces are so tiny and intricate that it would be almost impossible to fit them down through there to be able to glue them that way. So this is why we're doing it this way. So once all those pieces are drawn on, you stick all of those down, just glue them down, and then lay your fun foam, hello, glue that down over top so everything is flat and it's not moving anywhere. And then we're going to glue our hello down on the top. Just take your hello and lay it right over top of your fun foam and layer it. And I'm using the glossy accents so it gives you a little bit of wiggle room by the time it dries. So you can actually make sure everything is lined up properly. And then I'm finishing off the card by adding a few of the diamond dots. These are actually for diamond painting, but I thought that they would be really cute to add to cards. So you can see how beautiful the colors are. And I just picked these up at Hobby Lobby in the diamond painting section. And just like that, it's so super easy to make a beautiful eclipse card while using layered stamps. For our next card, we're going to be using three and a half by four and three quarters cardstock size. And I'm going to line this up in the middle because that's where I need to be stamping. So I'm using the grid lines to go by to get it straight. And this is the cute little stamp set that I'm gonna be using and it doesn't really have a name, I don't think, but I will link it in the description. And I'm just gonna be lining this up toward the bottom. And I think I want it right there. And we're gonna pick this up. Oh, wait a minute, I'll put my, I'll put my magnet down to make sure this just doesn't move. Just to make sure it doesn't pull up. 
just to be on the safe side. And I'm using the Amalgam ink, the Obsidian. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Apple Mint. I'm just gonna go along, gently along the edge of the card layer, the very bottom. Now I'm gonna go in with the Electro Pop in Blaring Blue. And we're just giving a halo around the picture. So it really just creates this beautiful side edging for the picture. It just makes the picture pop. I'm just curious, does anyone else use their Misty like this? Like use it to actually do your inking on or anything like that because I'm finding this to be perfect. And I also ended up buying the really big Misty, the Memory Misty. I was actually able to get a hold of that and that thing is amazing. I love it. And I would love to be able to use it for my demonstrations here, but I think it might be a little too big for on camera. It might actually get in the way, but I'm like using that thing a lot and it's perfect. Now I'm going to go in with the Electro Pop in Potent Purple. And now we're going to come in with that same Happy Easter stamp that I used in the first card. So we can make sure that this is straight. Pick that up and ink it. The Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Alcohol Markers. These things will change your life if you are new to coloring or you just can't afford Copics or you just don't know how to shade things or be able to pick out the right colors to go together to be able to color them. These will change your life. So if you look at the marker, it automatically has a light, medium, and dark shade all in the same alcohol marker. So this takes the guesswork out of your blending. So I'm going to start out with, let's see, I want, is this the right color? No. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the tan shade. And I'm going to use this on the tree. So I'm going to use my dark shade first. And anything that's going to look like it's shaded, that's what I, where I want to put the dark shade. So we're just gonna color down here and do everything dark. We're not gonna color the whole tree because the whole idea of this is to make it look shaded and blended and dimensional. And if you kind of like go in little circles that helps the blend more as well when you go to pick up your next colors. And since this is just a knot in the tree, I'm going to go ahead and color that dark. And then we're going to go up in here. Anything that looks like it could be shaded, we're just going to put a little bit of color down there. And you don't have to be perfect at this or know completely what you're doing. <laughs> I am a complete self-taught artist with everything I do. So don't judge me if I get something wrong. <laughs> I 
Next, we're going to take the medium shade. And we're going to go in. And we're kind of going over the dark shade that we did before. And now we have the light shade that we're going to just go in with. And we're just going to do up the rest of the tree in this color. And we're going to go over all of it. And this blends everything together. We're going to go back in and get the edges of the tree. And this color is the light green blend. And I'm gonna go in with the darker shade. And on this, and I'm just gonna show you some of the some of the leaves. I'm not gonna show you all the leaves. And I just go on the underneath of some, just like on one side of each leaf with that green. And then I'm just going in with the medium green and just blending all of that together from both sides. And by the time I get it all colored, this is what I have. And so now for the eclipse portion of it, I have this sweet little heart die that I thought was so cute. And I'm gonna stick this down. And I just want the little bird up here, this little section right here. And I want the heart, I think I want it to be offset. I don't think I want it to be straight. I think, I think this is what I want. So I'm gonna take some of that low-tack tape. And then I'm gonna run this through my Gemini die cut machine. I'm gonna pop that out. And I'll take your die and cut your fun foam heart right out of that. And now I have my heart of fun foam. So I'm going to bring this piece of cardstock in and it is actually a purple color that's probably not going to show up very good, but I'm going to come in with the potent purple again and I am going to just go around this. four inches by five and a quarter inches. So we're going to lay our layer down. 
and we are going to glue our panel on to the top. We're just gonna lay this down in the center and put some glue on the back of your fun foam and place it down in the center of your heart. And then once you have that secure, put a little bit of glue on the back and stick that down. The eclipse effect just adds so much detail to a card and it's not hard to do at all. And it's just so cute. But if you use the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers to color your images, you can really make those images just pop. And they're so beautiful. And not to mention it's so fun and therapeutic just to be able to color those images too. So you could add some gems or whatever you wanted to to this card, but I'm just gonna leave it just like this. It's super cute and I'm really proud of it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed these two cards that I made, if you learned anything, I try to share tips and tricks throughout my videos to make things a little bit easier for you. And I hope you enjoy that. So leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always get notifications for my channel. And until next time, I will catch you in the next video.